Welcome to Research Talk where we talk about research. In our last video we talked about reliability and today I'll be talking about validity. So what is validity in research? The term validity refers to degree to which a measurement tool measures what it claims to measure. For example, let's say uh, there is a test that claims that it measures intelligence. So the question that does this test really measure intelligence or maybe something else? Maybe it measures memory and not intelligence. So the validity refers to the extent a measurement tool measures what it claims to measure. Now, the term validity is used in, in two contexts. One in the context of uh, a measurement tool. So it could be a psychometric test or a, let's say achievement test and validity of an instrument such as psychometric or, or, or achievement uh, shows the effectiveness of the measurement tool. So uh, uh, an instrument having a high validity means this instrument is very effective and it measures what it claims to measure. Another uh, context where the term validity is very often used in is in experimental studies. So let's say, um, and there are two terms which are used. One is internal validity and the second one is external validity. And these two terms are used in the context of an experimental study and it shows how effective the findings of the studies are. So let's first talk about uh, the internal validity. So let's say you are a researcher and you are doing a research where you are manipulating uh, an independent variable that you have chosen and you are measuring the impact of that manipulation in the independent variable on an dependent variable. Now you got your results and you claim something that, okay, this is the impact of this independent variable on this dependent variable. So you kind of try to establish a cause effect relationship between these two variables. But the question is the change that you saw in the dependent variable that may be caused by some other variables that you might not have controlled, that you might not know about that you might not thought about. So this really compromises findings of your study and this is called internal validity. So internal validity shows the extent to which the manipulation of independent variable rather than any other extra extraneous variable uh, is causing the change on dependent variable. And how a researcher can can enhance the internal valid validity is by putting some standardized instructions or eliminating, el el eliminating demand characteristics or controlling the investigator effects like controlling your researcher bias and all that. So these are some of the ways that uh, a researcher can control these extraneous variables and, make sh uh, and enhance the internal validity. Now another term which is very often used for experimental studies is external validity. Now external validity refers to the extent to which the result of a study can be generalized to other settings, uh, to other people uh, or over time. And the ways to improve external validity can improve it by setting experiments in a more natural setting you can do random sampling so that the findings of your study can be generalized to other settings and people. So these two terms, internal validity and external validity, are used in the context of research studies. And as a researcher, you always wanted to increase the internal validity and external validity of your research findings. As I told you earlier that most often the term validity is used in the context of an, a measurement tool. So let's say, uh, you know, like the psychometric test or performance test or achievement test. All these tests, if they have to be effective, they should have uh, at least appropriate level of validity. So the validity, the term validity is, is, is used in the context of these measurement tools. So there are four types of validities uh, which are very often used in the context of an instrument. 
The first one is face validity. What is face validity? Face validity refers to the extent a test appears to measure what it claims to measure. Look at this item. I recently thought of killing myself. This item has obvious face validity, validity as an item measuring suicidal cognitions. However, the implications of items on test with clear face validity is that they are more vulnerable to social desirability bias. What is social desirability bias? Individuals may manipulate their responses to deny or hide problems or exaggerate behaviors to present a positive image of themselves. So, face validity refers to the extent a test appears to measure what it claims to measure. The second type of validity is construct validity. Construct validity refers to what extent the test is related to underlying theoretical constructs. Let's take an example of intelligence test. So if there is a test that claims to measure intelligence, construct validity of this intelligence test depends on how the test is related to or captures the existing theories of intelligence. And there are many ways to demonstrate construct validity such as factor analysis or correlational analysis. So these are a statistical tool we use to establish construct validity. The third type of validity which is used in the context of instruments is concurrent validity. Concurrent validity refers to what extent a test is related to other similar existing tests. For example, if there is a test that measures level of compassion, since empathy and compassion share some similarities as construct, these two measures should be correlated. So demonstrating a correlation between tests which are very similar in their construct enhance concurrent validity. So what do you do if, if you develop a test, let's say any test, and you want to measure the concurrent validity, you will try to look for uh, other tests which are in some way similar in their in the way they are defined and then you you try to establish a correlation the higher the correlation between those tests the better uh, the the concurrent validity the fourth and the final type of validity is predictive validity predictive validity refers to the extent a test predicts a criteria in future take the example of GRE test now, GRE test is required for, for taking admissions in graduate programs. The question is, to what extent GRE score predicts the future success of the students in their respective academic programs? Are students scoring high on GRE perform better in their graduate programs than students who score low? If it is true, it means GRE test has high predictive validity. So predictive validity basically refers to the extent a test predicts a criteria in future. So this was all about um, validity and I'll, I'll keep talking about other research construct uh, on, in my videos in, in future. Alright, so stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye-bye.